What's up, y'all? Uh, welcome back to I Still Love Car Audio and Car Audio Tech Stuff. Um, I am driving, so I won't be looking at the camera, but I wanted to uh, clarify something uh, in regards to my system and um, sound cue. Oops, sorry about that. Sound cue competition. Matter of fact, uh, let me move my phone. It's in a secure place, you know. Just want y'all to know that. Sorry about the uh, jacked up angle, but anyway, um, I was, well, let me see. I, for lack of a better word, I ruffled a few feathers with a couple of people in the sound cue uh, community. Not to the point where we were talking bad about each other or about to fight, nothing like that, not even in the slightest. So I want to clarify that. It had nothing to do with that. It was just, I misspoke in regards to my vehicle, I guess you could say that. Like, for example, I mean, well, what I mean is I was referring to my car as a sound cue car because I didn't know. I was using the wrong terminology. Um, my car, and the reason why I said that is because I have the, some of the same components a lot of sound cue competitors use. So I figured I got this equipment. My car is not tuned, but time aligned like a sound cue car, meaning, you know, everything's centered one seat tune. For those of us who know, it's a one seat tune, driver seat tune. Uh, my mid bass, mid range, and everything, my sub bass is all forward, like a sound cue car would be. It's all on the stage, it's center focused, just like a sound cue car. So, naturally, I would think my car was a sound cue car, but in the sound cue community, it's like, you know, how are you going to sit there and say your car is a sound cue car, but you don't compete? That's why some of the competitors were asking me to compete since I'm talking trash about how I didn't like how some of the sound cue cars sounded and all that, so on and so forth. Now, I'm not changing what I said about not competing because I still think it's a little biased and I'm not the biggest fan of a sound cue tune. I can't tune sound cue. My car is more of a more of an uh, audio file system or uh, car audio file or SQL, definitely SQL, but it's not SQ in terms of competition. So again, when some competitors hear me referring to my car as sound cue, they're like, man, this dude's sitting there bashing sound cue but won't even compete. His car's not even tuned for sound cue because sometimes uh, some people would listen to my, my videos, my demo videos that I would do here playing music and they're like, yeah, your car sounds good, but it's not this and it's not that. And that's because it's not tuned for sound cue. Um, again, I tune by ear. I tune off of memory, you know, and I, I use my headphones. I listen to a song that way, uh, especially a song that I'm very familiar with. I play it a hundred times over and then I try to get my car to sound like my headphones, if not better. And for the most part, I feel like I've done that anyway. It's not tuned for SQ because SQ tuning is different. The mids and highs are different. My car is more bass heavy, more bass forward, especially in the front doors. I got the eight inch drivers and they're not just filling in the mid bass, they're playing damn near sub bass. But that's the way I wanted it because it's like a demo car. You know, it has that, like one of my buddies said uh, when we were chatting, has that wow factor. You know, it's like, okay, it's exciting. It's excitable in comparison to some SQ cars and again please I'm just take it with a grain of salt I'm not bashing SQ cars I'm just saying the tunes are different you know you got the SQ cars uh, one one SQ guy uh, told me like this it's like you know SQ cars are designed for points getting points and technical sound technical analysis of the sound if you will still that's not to say it's flat and sounds bad but it's just different whereas a demo car is tuned brighter more excitable you know with that wow factor again and that's because the manufacturer wants to sell the product and also you know the way i think about it now it's that's why some sq competitors if if they use their sq cars for daily drivers they have an sq preset and they have a personal preset and usually the personal preset is more amplified uh you know certain frequencies are boosted and all that to have that wow factor for their personal use that reason right there is why I wanted to go with an SQL car as opposed to just an SQ car because I want that wow factor, you know? 
when I was in DB Drag, when I got out of, when I was in DB Drag, my car was straight up DB Drag, and then I did it uh, two ways, where it was DB Drag, and then after that, we would go to like a little cruise night or cruise show, and then I would give demos to people. It had that excitable wow factor to it. So, and then sometimes uh, pure SPL competitors would come out to the cruise nights, and their cars, all they did was just burp. They were just burp machines. They didn't play any music. So, looking at it from a wow factor standpoint, the crowd would be like, yeah, it's loud, but it's In two miles, take exit 40 toward Sorry, Jones Boulevard. Um, yeah, the, the crowd at the cruise nights would be like, yeah, that SPO car is loud as hell, but it's just a burp machine. Whereas my SPO could do both. It'll do SPO competition, and then it'll turn around and give demos. Same thing with the SQ competition. Your average person, if they go to an SQ competition, they're going to be like, it's cool, it's clean, it's perfectly balanced, but it's not excitable. Whereas my car being an audiophile or SQL system, it has that wow factor, it's more excitable. So anyway, I say all that to say, from now on, I'm going to be referring to my car as a audiophile system or an SQL system, because again, it's, it has some SQ parameters as far as time alignment, staging and all that. But it's not, it's not tuned for SQ per se. I mean, I couldn't even tune SQ because that's way more technical than I care to learn to do. And I'm not, I have no interest in competing anyway. That's not nothing against those who do, but my, my comp competition was SPL, exciting competition. SQ, it's more mellow. I like to go to the shows because I like the camaraderie. I like to listen to the cars because they still sound good. And, um, you know, just being in the atmosphere is all good. I enjoy it. So, uh, I take back what I said in regards to in half a mile. Take exit 40 toward Jones Boulevard. How some of the uh, SQ cars sounded, uh, you know, I, I, again, it wasn't any malice. I wasn't trying to bash anybody's system. I was just listening from an, an SQL wow factor ear. I tune for an SQL wow factor, you know. Take exit 40. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear my GPS, but I'm driving, obviously, so sorry about that. But anyway, uh, I would love to talk to you In guys. In a quarter about, mile, use you know, any lane to turn left onto North Jones Boulevard. I would love to chat with you guys about it, you know, uh, going forward. But anyway, like I said, I'm going to re be referring to my car as an audiophile or SQL system uh, from now on or a demo type vehicle. Use any lane to turn left onto North Jones Boulevard. So, so that I don't offend anyone or get anybody uh, ruffle any feathers because that was not my point by no means. I wasn't trying to cut anybody down, hurt any feelings, or talk trash or be controversial. I was just, again, speaking from a demo or a wow factor point of view. So anyway, until next time, stay tuned. <laughs>